Tarika Duncan joins us now live in studio. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. May I ask you the motivation? Why did she decide to come forward now? Brittany Camisso said it comes down to hearing the allegations of the other women, but most importantly, that news conference on March 3rd. She said that is what sent her over the edge. She was at her table, at her desk, listening to that March third news conference where the governor said explicitly he has never touched anyone inappropriately. It was at that time that she says two other aides saw her. She was shooken up and they then reported that information. Um, and the rest is history, if you will. But essentially, she wanted to put her message out there, her face out there. As you know, many other women have come forward, but she was that person who really had a very uh, concerning allegation. All of them are concerning, but the most concerning, I would say, because of the criminal complaint that she filed. So now we're talking about possibly the governor being prosecuted for something she says was a crime committed against her. We know the governor maintains still uh, that he did not grope Brittany Camisso and that he did not touch anyone inappropriately. She remains working in government. She does. And she plans to stay there. She does. In fact, um, she said she planned to be there Monday morning when we did this interview uh, last week. She enjoys what she does. Um, she told us that from the very beginning, as early as she could remember, she always wanted to be in government. She said that when she was in high school even, she showed us the high school yearbook where they ask you, where do you see yourself 10 years from now? And her response was married and hopefully working in government. Mm -hmm. So while she's gone through some things, according to her, that have been horrific, that have been embarrassing, uncomfortable, she said that there's some really good people that work in that office, and she thinks it's, um, you know, she's honored to work for the people of New York State. So uh, we'll see what happens. But as of right now, she doesn't plan to leave her position. Are there any concerns about retaliation? She said she is concerned about retaliation. And at this point, she feels that the governor needs to resign. Uh, that was sort of the takeaway from when I asked her, what would you want the governor to know if he's watching right now? And, and she said, I want him to know that he must step down. He has to resign. And as you know, we just heard the top aide, Melissa DeRosa, step down. So now we wait and see what happens. But again, we have reached out to Governor Cuomo's office uh, and his attorneys, and they again maintain that uh, Brittany Camisso's story, they said, doesn't add up and that the governor didn't, in fact, do that. Jerica, thank you so much. And